decisions. The district also an equity lens tool. Yeah, presumably to burn all of us like ants under. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man. <laughs> Portland, man. I mean, this is Vancouver and Portland. The equity lens yeah, tool is determined that you were not equitable. Yeah, man. Ooh, what do we have here? Man is behind bars accused of killing a 62 year old deaf man in East Portland. <laughs> a deaf guy? A 62 year old. <laughs> yeah, deaf right. Man. All right, this sounds sunny. Man is behind bars accused of killing a 62 year old deaf man in East Portland. Well, that initial assault happened on March 17th, just before 8 p.m., in a convenience store off of East Burnside, and that victim died a week later. Fox 12's Chandler Watkins joining us live from Portland's police East Precinct with more on the deadly assault and reaction from neighbors. Chandler. Yeah, according to court documents, 35-year-old Aaron Reed Jones faces a list of charges. We spoke with people who live nearby who call the assault sad and say it's just another senseless incident that's happened in their neighborhood. I'm not surprised. There's stuff that happens around here all the time. All the time, it's actually really sad. Portland police arrested 35-year-old Aaron Reed Jones in connection to an assault in a Hazelwood convenience store that left 62-year-old Curtis Davies dead. According to court documents, Davies, who is deaf and unable to speak, approached the counter trying to communicate with Jones. After two attempts, Jones reportedly turned and punched Davies several times in the head, causing Davies to fall. He died in a hospital days later. So the, the non-verbal deaf guy is attempting to <laughs> maybe to ask communicate with change. the sun man. Maybe he was trying to ask for some change or something like you know. Uh, what I don't know. <laughs> How do you get into an argument with a, a deaf guy? I don't know. Yeah, he sucked that guy. I, out, I wouldn't man. underestimate the sun's capacity to do that. Yeah, but it takes dialogue to argue about something. <laughs> yeah, the sun you. man ain't fit to have no dialogue. <laughs> he killed him. Nah. He. He, he probably he probably thought he probably can't act up a change, mumble and shit. He probably get the fuck yeah, out probably of did it. something of a mumble. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck no, out no, of here. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't you know how that shit. Oh, he probably don't understand him and shit. He probably, yeah, he got mm -hmm. confused and he got yeah. mad. He got angry because that's what women do. That's one thing about women. When a woman don't understand what you say, she gonna get angry. That feminine reaction. Yeah, yeah. he got he got angry and he hit him. And then, like, like I tell you, Sun Man hit hard, man. Sun Man yeah. hit hard as shit, man. <laughs> he killed that guy, man. Fuck. What'd you and, say? And, and, and don't fall down. And don't fall down, because we're going for your head. Yeah. We kick you in the head and all that crazy well, shit. I'm sure he got down and, like, attempted to assist the man after he realized that he was, uh... <laughs> Not. According to court documents, Davies who is deaf and unable to speak, approached the counter trying to communicate with Jones. After two attempts, Jones reportedly turned and punched Davies several times in the head, causing Davies to fall. He died in a hospital days later. Amanda and her family have lived in their East Portland home for the last two years, near where the incident occurred. But she says they've had enough and plan on moving in the coming weeks. We have um children out here that are um can't even play in their own front yards um because it's too dangerous they plan on moving <laughs> yeah they're gonna glide out of here hey they ask for this they ask for this i'm ahead with the gliders they ask for this. They yeah ask for this. think about that though portland has a neighborhood that's too dangerous for white people to let their kids play in the front yard and his sons um salute to eric S coming through once again. Salute to um, Doug G. He says, hi, uh, Portland's downhill spiral really accelerated when Measure 110 passed, decriminalizing small amounts of drugs. Homeless junkies from around the whole country flocked here, then elect the non-prosecuting DA in the city's done. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I, I never thought of that. That's how that works, man. Yeah, because those people have votes. Yeah, this is the only country where a fucking, like, when we see those videos of Kensington, like, all those people can, can vote. I never thought of that. That's crazy.
crazy. Play in their own front yards um, because it's too dangerous. They plan on moving in the coming weeks. There was a shooting where our kids were playing outside and um, one of the neighbors um, yelled at the guy to slow down because he was speeding through here. And um, the guy actually got out and started shooting down the street. Yeah, I was feeling like I had to call that one a sun man as well. Hey. Don't tell me to fucking slow down. I think <laughs> that we all agree that that was a sun man. Hey, slow down there, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Yeah. The man got off. Boom! Boom! <laughs> like from <Bust>. distance. <laughs> Shoot. Oh my God. It's just like, man. It's just like that. It's, remember that um, story you did with the um, the yeah. man that parked the um, scooter outside um, the lady's um, apartment and she told him he can't Oh park God, that's oh, brutal DC. shit. Yeah, yeah, DC. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta be careful with sons, man. I mean, we like, it's like a storm. Like, think about when he, when he stopped that car and hopped out and shot back at that guy who said that. There are houses, there's kids playing. That could have been a fucking tragedy. So Fuck thank, yeah. God, thank God there wasn't a tragedy. Own front yards um, because it's too dangerous. They plan on moving in the coming weeks. There was a shooting where our kids were playing outside and um, one of the neighbors um, yelled at the guy to slow down because he was speeding through here. And um, the guy actually got out and started shooting down the street. Amanda says, thankfully, no one was injured, but it wasn't an isolated incident. And then there was another instance where my husband and I were outside and he got shot in a drive by. And so, um, thank <laughs> what? <you. laughs> what? Just another side fuck? incident. Oh, wait a minute. She still lives there? Like, you know, what the you know, Oh yeah, no. and my husband. I, I gotta be hearing that wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like that was the lead, baby. She and by the lead. way, <laughs> buried that like a pro. <laughs> Street. Amanda says, thankfully, no one was injured, but it wasn't an isolated incident. And then there was another instance where my husband and I were outside, and he got shot in a drive-by, and so. Um, thankfully he was okay, but, um, we are definitely moving away from here. Just down the street, we spoke to Greg. This is my little nook. Yeah, that's the highest rated crime for the max stops along the whole line, but that little hill separated all of us from that. And now it, it's like it doesn't even exist anymore. Now that hill's gone, Buster. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> from over the hill. He's lived in his home near East Burnside for nearly 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> if you live next to a train track, you, you get immune to the train. If you live next to the max stop, you get immune to sirens. It's just kind of a, a normal, everyday thing. Can you just kind of say to yourself, what happened now? Well, I mean, no. You just kind of get numb. Some man outside the food mart. You just kind of get Jones numb. has been put into jail and is currently being held without bond. According to authorities, Jones has a long list of charges, including felonies, in Southeast Portland. Food, <laughs> food desertification has already begun. Yeah, man. Walmart's taking notes, man. Jeez. Oh, Walmart's out of Portland, too, right? <laughs> this is crazy, man. Oh. God, First really? Walmart, then Food Mart. Then New attend the man charged with killing a Vancouver woman and her young daughter has pleaded not guilty. 27-year-old Kirkland Warren just entered that plea within the last hour. He's charged with murder and other crimes connected to the death of his ex-girlfriend, 27-year-old Ms. Shea Melendez, and her daughter, 7-year-old Layla Stewart. Police found their bodies on March 22nd, days after they were reported missing. Investigators say they'd been shot to death. A funeral for Mache and Layla is scheduled to happen on Wednesday. Warren is expected back in court. Next oh, God. Jesus Christ. Um, we both did the same thing right there. <laughs> a reserve officer in Eastern Oregon is now in police custody. A statewide manhunt ended this morning when an Oregon State Police SWAT team arrested 36-year-old Renee Castro. Here you see some pictures of him. The Malheur County District okay, Attorney's Office. Who did this one last time? He was with Nick oh, Burrito with a push ice tea. Yeah. He's got a third eyebrow. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, this time is getting. Uh, um, 
sounds getting oh a 17 year old has been arrested for a deadly shooting in Portland's Lentz neighborhood. Today, police identified the victim as 48 year old Connie Capania Martinez. The shooting happened back on March 31st near Southeast 92nd and Crystal Springs Boulevard. On Saturday, Klamath County deputies and the U.S. Marshal Service arrested the 17 year old in Chiloquin in Klamath County. He is facing murder and unlawful use of a weapon charges. All right, well, give me one more. Give, her give her me one more city, man. Give me one more. City. Make I'm scared. Good, man. I'm scared to say Houston because that's where I live. Because it's it is just it is getting it's accelerating to get to be one of the worst. Yeah, Houston is Houston is is just. I mean, you just better pray there's no more hurricanes, man. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. We'll take advantage. Um. Oh God. In other news this evening, many across Texas are praying for a young cheerleader who was in the ICU after police say a gunman opened fire on her and her friends. We want to thank you for joining us.